This is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV. I'm Derek Gilbert with five things you need to know for this October 7th, 2024, one year ago today. We awoke to news that terrorists had swarmed across the border from Gaza into Israel, killing some 1,200 Israelis and dragging 240 more back across their lines. It's resulted in a war that has only escalated, now including Israel, Hezbollah, and terror groups in Judea and Samaria, plus attacks from Iran-aligned groups in Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and more news from Israel coming up in just a minute. Topic number five today, of course, the cleanup from Hurricane Helene. It's having some unexpected consequences, which uh, people are now beginning to notice as we are just one month away from the presidential election, congressional elections as well. There are parts of Western North Carolina where casting a vote is going to be a real challenge. Critical infrastructure offline, and as we told you last week, it may be months before power is restored to some areas in North Carolina. Uh, parts of the Appalachian Mountain regions that are difficult to get to, inaccessible, substations for Duke Power submerged. They're waiting for the water to recede and uh, the equipment to dry out before they can even check the uh, condition of those power substations. But according to the North Carolina Elections Board website, five county boards of election were closed as of the end of last week. That includes the counties of Avery, Buncombe, Mitchell, Watauga, and Yancey. The website also included a breakdown by party, registered voters in the 25 counties underneath the disaster area uh, declaration. Some 480,000 voters in those areas registered as Republican and 292,000 as Democrat. Now, North Carolina is an important swing state in the upcoming election for as far as the Electoral College is concerned and who will wind up ultimately claiming the White House next January. And uh, that is where Politico comes in. Politico, a news website left-leaning, dedicated to politics, hence the name Politico, actually ran this headline. Helene hit Trump strongholds in Georgia and North Carolina. It could swing the election. Quoting from the article now. The challenge for Trump, the parts of western North Carolina and eastern Georgia that were flooded by the monster storm are largely Republican. In 2020, he won 61% of the vote in the North Carolina counties that were declared a disaster after Helene. He won 54% of the vote in Georgia's disaster counties, end quote. In other words, the storm affected Trump majority counties, and this could swing the elections in North Carolina and in Georgia, both of which are important swing states, and especially in Georgia, where the uh, polling is very, very close. This really had better not be why the federal response, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA's response, has been so slow. You would hate to think that the federal government was dragging its feet and restoring critical services and infrastructure in those counties because it might make it easier for Trump voters to get to the polls next month. Pray that it be not so. But what's just as disturbing is the spin that Politico is taking here. They're setting up Helene as the October surprise. If North Carolina and Georgia go to Harris, well, it's not because of anything nefarious going on behind the scenes. It's simply that who could have predicted Hurricane Helene, the October surprise. Topic number four, Milton. As if we didn't have enough to worry about, Hurricane Milton is ramping up in the Gulf of Mexico, taking aim at the Tampa Bay area. There's still some uncertainty as to the track, but most of the models seem to show it hitting midway on uh, up uh, Florida's Gulf Coast. Could be bringing record storm surges as well. The model's not clear. It could be anywhere from a strong Category 2 all the way up to a Category 5, depending on which model you look at. But either way, uh, however it plays out. It is uh, anticipated to be a major hurricane by Wednesday morning, meaning sustained winds of more than 110 miles per hour. So if you're in the path of the storm, please follow state guidelines. Florida Governor DeSantis pre-positioning critical supplies in the areas that are expected to be hardest hit. Um, just a reminder that last week, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said, we're not going to have enough money to last through hurricane season after three months ago saying, we've got plenty of money, we're fine. And then he was photographed, filmed, videoed last week at a, at a high-end men's clothing shop. I mean, apparently he's got enough time in his schedule to go clothes shopping while people in North Carolina are waiting for somebody to get to them with food, water, and medicine. Anyway, there was a report from a SpaceX engineer on the ground in North Carolina that the, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, 
was actively blocking deliveries of critical goods. Again, not just not being efficient, uh, being disorganized, just actively blocking goods. Now, this sounds hard to believe. It sounds like conspiracy theory. This is a rumor on social media. But there is a report from a volunteer who says he saw the same thing firsthand after Hurricane Irma hit the Florida Keys a few years ago. He works for a group of volunteers that basically mobilize when something like this happens. They showed up, found US-1, the one road leading to the Florida Keys, blocked by FEMA. Road was fine, just FEMA wasn't letting anyone in. So they loaded their supplies in boats and went to the Keys with, but they couldn't get all the supplies in the boats. They wanted to donate the rest to FEMA, for FEMA to distribute, and were told that they could not accept the donations because they weren't from approved vendors. It's, it sounds awful, but this is human nature. Somebody turning a profit on the misery of others. Topic number three, Israel. As Israel marks one year from the deadly attack by Hamas last fall, a terror attack in the south of the country. Sunday afternoon, an Israeli border police officer was killed. Ten people wounded in Beersheba during a shooting and stabbing attack near the central bus station. Medics evacuated the 10 victims to the city's Soroka Medical Center, one with moderate to serious wounds, four with sustained moderate wounds, five lightly wounded. Border Police Sergeant Shira Kaya Suslik, 19 years old, pronounced dead at the scene. The uh, attack took place in three locations, the central bus station outside a fast food restaurant nearby, and uh, on a street, uh, the Shmar Shmaryahu Levin Street, where the terrorist was... Uh, shot and neutralized. He had, was identified as a 29-year-old man, Ahmad al ukbi from, from an Israeli Bedouin community. Um, turns out that uh, he was apparently related to a man who committed a deadly shooting at the same central bus station back in October of 2015. Uh, meanwhile, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had some strong words for France's President Emmanuel Macron, who announced Saturday that France has suspended arms shipments to Israel. No more arms sales to Israel and calling for an immediate ceasefire. Netanyahu said, quote, Iran's support for all parts of its axis of terrorism. Israel, ex uh, Israel expects its friends to stand behind it and not impose restrictions that will only strengthen the Iranian axis of evil, end quote. Netanyahu's point is, it's on the front lines of a religious and civilizational struggle that will come to the West and for countries like France and others to stand in the way while Israel is taking on this fight basically alone is just short-sighted and foolish. Topic number two, who is this we you keep talking about, Madam Secretary? Uh, Hillary Clinton, that is. She used the word we on CNN in an unusual way. I ask because since she's not in government, who is this we that she's talking about? Uh, she told CNN host Michael Smirkanish that social media companies must moderate content on their platforms or else, and I quote, we lose total control, end quote. Uh, again, who is this we? You're not in government anymore, Hillary? Uh, uh, she's, she's part of the political class, the elite. I'm uh, pretty sure that whoever the we is, it's not, it's not us. Uh, quote, we can look at the state of California, the state of New York. I think some other states have taken action, but we need national action. And sadly, our Congress has been dysfunctional when it comes to addressing these threats to our children, end quote. She called for eliminating, uh, repealing Section 230 of the Communications Act, which protects social media platforms from liability posted by third parties. In other words, they're just a platform. They're not editing the content. Now, when they get into editing content and censoring, well, then they are a publisher and not just a platform. And when you're the publisher, then you do become responsible. But make no mistake, what Hillary is calling for here, what John Kerry, as I told you last week, is calling for, what the elites want, what Democrats want, as they're saying it openly, vice presidential candidate Tim Waltz, <laughs> they want to shut down freedom of speech. They want to eliminate the First Amendment to the Constitution. That's a uniquely American thing. Freedom of speech is not really a thing in other parts of the world. But here for America, this was so important, they made it the first amendment to the Constitution. Democrats want to save democracy by destroying it. Coming up, panic. Panic! I'll explain why next.
on 5 and 10. Well, friends, we want to make sure you know how you can get your copy of The Dragon's Prophecy, along with, if you should choose to get the companion DVD box set right now, when you order The Dragon's Prophecy, Israel, The Dark Resurrection, and The End of Days. And it's available right now in the Dragon's Prophecy Master Collection. In this stunning new book, Jonathan Kahn will open up for the very first time ever end times prophecy to reveal the long hidden secret of the last days, the dark resurrection, the colors of the apocalypse, the day of the dragon, the secret on the mount, and much, much more. Also included in this incredible collection are Jonathan Kahn's all-time best-selling books bound in beautiful hardback, The Oracle, The Jubilee and Mysteries, that takes you on an epic journey through a mystery birthed in a Middle Eastern desert over 3,000 years ago that is right now determining the global events we're witnessing today. And The Paradigm, the ancient blueprint that holds the mystery of our times, that exposes the blueprint that can quite possibly foretell the outcomes of current events more accurately than any modern poll or expert, even including the outcomes of presidential elections. Sold separately, these three books hold a retail value of over $75 all by themselves. Yours now for your donation of only $39.99, which includes free shipping to all U.S. orders. But Right now, you can upgrade your Dragon's Prophecy Master Collection to include the absolutely astonishing Dragon's Prophecy Uncensored 8-DVD album, featuring hours of additional totally uncensored raw materials and mysteries that are not included in the book. You'll not only hear additional end times revelations regarding what is yet to come upon the earth and how to be ready as the body of Christ, but you'll experience them with images, videos, and materials not found anywhere else. Jonathan discusses where America is in end times prophecy, what the next big prophetic event likely is, the arrival of the dragon, what Ezekiel 38 and 39 truly discloses, and much, much more. This 8-DVD set is exclusive and not available online anywhere, in any bookstore, or even on Amazon. This special upgrade includes all of the items from the Dragon's Prophecy Master Collection and the exclusive uncensored 8-DVD album, which altogether holds a retail value of $200. Yours now for your donation of only $79.99, which again includes free shipping to all U.S orders. So don't delay. You can scan the QR code on your screen using the camera app on your phone for instant access to the Dragon's Prophecy Master Collection or the Master Collection with upgraded uncensored 8 DVD album. You can also visit us at skywatchtvstore.com or call 1-844-750-4985 and ask for the Dragon's Prophecy Master Collection or upgraded collection now. Item number one today, panic, clear those shelves. The longshoreman strike that we told you about last week lasted a couple of days, ended Thursday evening. The uh, Longshoremen Association uh, had their strike against the port operators on the East Coast and Gulf Coast ended. They kind of kicked the can down the road 90 days. We'll see what happens when we re revisit the contract talks in January. But anyway, the three-day strike caused people to go into a panic, full COVID stockpiling mode, Clearing out shelves, stores having to post signs saying no more than six packages of toilet paper, no more than eight, eight cases of bottled water. I mean, look, toilet paper and bottled water are not things we import from China. And yet people were panicking. But the bottom line here, and I think this is something that Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton, which we will be paying closer attention to than we did to Helene, um, it's just a valuable lesson. Don't wait until somebody announces a strike or the hurricane is making landfall to make sure you've got extra supplies on hand. Buy a little extra every time you go to the store. I know it's not easy to do, but it's easier than suddenly having to run up your credit card to stockpile all at once and wait in long lines of other people who also made that same decision. The Resurrection War, that is our upcoming virtual conference that goes live on the web November 30th. 
There is no schedule. Basically, you set the schedule. You get access to all two dozen presentations from speakers like Pastor Carl Gallup's, Ryan Peterson, Dr. Judd Burton, Dr. Mike Spaulding, many others, uh, including all of us from Skywatch TV. And you set the your own schedule. Watch what you want to watch in the order you choose to watch them. You get 90 days access from the time it's released. If you sign up for the conference after November 30th, you get 90 days access at that point as well. So you're not missing anything, but you will miss the early bird discount. You get $10 off if you register by November 15th, just $85 instead of $95 after November 15th. More information and registration at DefenderConference.com, DefenderConference.com. Jonathan Kahn is a new book, The Dragon's Prophecy, and as with everything Rabbi Jonathan Kahn puts out there, it is absolutely jaw-dropping. Do not miss this series of programs. You can watch the first one right now at the website, SkyWatchTV.com. You'll find all of our video content there all the time. You can also watch it uh, over the air. Our broadcast schedule posted at skywatchtv.com slash channels. Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, we're there as well. If you've got a set-top box, make sure you've got the Skywatch TV channel installed. You get all of our video content there. Over the internet, youtube.com slash at skywatch television, rumble.com slash skywatch TV, or our mobile app, which brings all of our content right into your smartphone or tablet, available for iOS, Android, Amazon, Kindle Fire, other features as well, including a Bible with multiple, audio Bible with multiple translations right in the palm of your hand. And we've got links to their app stores at skywatchtv.com slash app. Find 5 and 10 online at YouTube. We are at 5 in 10. That's the channel address. You'll also find us on X, formerly Twitter, at 5 underscore in underscore 10. And thank you for watching as we keep watch. I'm Derek Gilbert. This is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV.